All right, we're here with the FM Tones Marty, and uh, I just got my controller today, and uh, really excited about that. Uh, you probably might ask yourself, why are you so excited to get a controller for a system? And uh, the answer to that is just because they are so rare to find. Um, I searched around for one week, and I was able to find one controller um, out of uh, all the auctions I checked on the internet. So, I got that. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any software for it yet, but uh, I ordered a couple of games, but uh, they should be here in probably the next week or so, so I can make a games video. But uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this machine here, for those of you who don't know it. Um, the Towns Marty, um, or FM Towns Company, is made by Fujitsu, and uh, Fujitsu um, used to make uh, the Fujitsu FM Towns PC and uh, from the PC they decided to make uh, a Marty which was supposed to be a, a home console uh, around the early 90s and uh, this thing when it first came out was pretty impressive it uh, had a 32-bit 32-bit uh, um, graphics on it um, had a 386-bit uh, uh, AMD processor and uh, as far as the <clears throat> the power for the time, it was really decent, <clears throat> but uh, it wound up uh, getting out of the games market uh, right around the time that the Sony PlayStation and the uh, uh, Sega Saturn came around, which was a pretty wise idea for them um, because uh, there was no way they could compete with it. Uh, with this machine itself, it uh, on the side here. It also has a 3.5 HD floppy drive, and uh, this is basically designed for some games. They use the uh, floppy port. Also, they use this for uh, game saves sometimes. You had a floppy disk that you stuck in there, and then you could save your games in the progress. Um, it's got the power button over here located on the side, which is kind of an unusual place. Um, also, down here, it's got an IC card slot. Um, also has a keyboard uh, port. This thing was originally designed to um, have a keyboard um, underneath the front here. This one is for the mouse and this is for the first pad. Um, but uh, unfortunately I don't have a keyboard or a mouse so that might happen later on in the future. Uh, also in the front here uh, they have the headphone jacks and the volume adjustment and in the back um, there is regular composite and S-video. So. But uh, other than that, this machine uh, basically put out, a, I think they put out about 40, just a little over 40 games for it, specifically designed for the uh, Marty. But uh, on top of that, what was nice about this system is they actually made it to where the uh, FM Towns PC software could also be used on this machine. Now there still is uh, some software that can't be used, uh, and the reason for that is because it only has... Uh, Two, uh, two megs uh, onboard RAM, and uh, some of the games actually required a lot more memory than that, and so it was impossible to play it. But um, they came out with a second version of this as well, and uh, it's the FM Tones Marty 2, and that one was a darker gray color, had a yellow button here, and uh, they changed the uh, wording up here, so this one's in uh, dark gray. That one was also in yellow, and that one came with, I think, a 46 uh, processor, so it was a little bit faster, had a little bit more power to it. But uh, other than than the uh, processor, all they did is change the case color, so uh, it was kind of a waste. Um, but uh, like I said, other than that, there is uh, it's capable of doing uh, about 1,024 sprites uh, for the screen. Uh, especially like 32,000, a little over 32,000 for colors and then uh, 256 for uh, on screen. Uh, it's got uh, 6 channel FM sound and uh, 8 channel PCM and uh, yeah what I'll, what I'll do today is uh, since I don't have any games I'll just uh, pop in a CD. I'll show you the uh, intro here so you can take a look at it and uh, hopefully when I get some game so I'll be able to put those up for you but let's get this thing started uh, let's go and turn on the power button and check this out
and they uh, were kind of like the uh, the main screen here, the screensaver, whatever you want to call it, and this kind of molecule floating around here. By pressing some of the buttons, you could change uh, some parts of the molecule. Uh, molecule, for example, um, if I press the uh, A button here and I press it multiple times, sometimes you can make the uh, ball a little bit bigger, cause it to expand. Um, if I press the B button, it can cause it to uh, kind of disintegrate and then come back together. Uh, with these controllers, these controllers only have uh, the start select A, B, and then they also have a, uh, a button up on the uh, top, uh, top upper right corner with the D-pad. So it's kind of simple controller, but what we'll do is we'll hit the select button here. And uh, that'll take us to our main menu. In this main menu, um, you can play the CDs, uh, you can do uh, data copying, uh, file copying, uh, adjust the time, date, things like that. Um, and uh, also you can zoom in on stuff, uh, change the zoom. But um, for example, let's go to the CD player here. And uh, CD player has uh, a few different functions. Um, if you go down here, um, I jumped right on the screen. Let's go back in here. All right. I'll put in a CD, and this thing is pretty scratched, so hopefully it'll read it. No guarantees. <coughs> CD. Uh, we can go into, um, let me see here, play the track. <laughs> can change the uh, volume, uh, can change the volume of the mic. down to your media section, you can choose uh, CDG, it even has a karaoke function, CD channel, turn that down a little bit, uh, program list, you can edit the programs, make it random, you know, a lot of the functions that most CD players have, um, but uh, yeah, unfortunately this is pretty much about as much as I can show you as far as uh, it goes right now. Um, once I get some games on here, it, uh, it should uh, be a little bit more interesting. But um, for starters, uh, this is kind of what it's like. Um, this thing also had the ability to read um, FM Towns Marty ISOs. Um, you had to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of tweaking around and playing around with uh, the, uh, the CDs itself when you go to burn it and uh, some of them required a floppy but uh, you could feasibly burn some of the games that uh, would normally cost you an arm and a leg um, and just burn them straight to uh, CDR pop them in here and it would read it um, yeah unfortunately the games themselves are really expensive so um, the games that I ordered on the internet uh, just uh, about a week ago one of the games came with uh, no case, no instructions, just the disc itself. It cost me 50 bucks, so that'll give you a general idea on how much they're going for. They go from anywhere I've seen them as low as, you know, I think 15, 15 bucks for really basic uh, games, uh, all the way on up to uh, 200. So they are, uh, they are quite expensive, but... Uh, yeah, once again, just want to show you a little bit of what the, the system's like and uh, let you see, uh, see a bit of it. So I'll put up another vid here soon, but uh, thanks for watching.